Mitty's talks later in the broadcast. A new study shows the CEOs who fired the most workers during the economic recession have also taken home the highest pay. According to the Institute for Policy Studies, the CEOs of the 50 corporations responsible for the worst layoffs were paid an average of $12 million, 42% more than the average for the Standard & Poor 500. The study covered the period from November 2008 to April of this year. For 72% of companies, layoffs were announced at the same time as earnings increased. New figures, meanwhile, show the nation's banks reduced lending last quarter while seeing their highest profit jump in three years. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation reported Tuesday bank profits were up 21% to nearly $22 billion, but lending over the same period fell 1.3% or about $96 billion. The exception was community banks, which slightly increased lending during the same period. Republican